welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Style by Toyo. Oh, hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to style by tell you not the fucking vibe if you're a new subscriber please subscribe what? this is your first time on my channel if this is your first time on my channel please subscribe you want you will want to subscribe you you know you want to subscribe sis get into it period from the title you already know what's going on i'm going to be showing you guys how i install my closure wigs i'm going to be installing this wig in this video this wasn't filmed the same day as the tutorial you'll see a light change but anyways this is a whole different day and i just remembered that i haven't filmed an intro and outro for the video so yeah that's that i hope that my, my nose contour doesn't look bad because it was looking bad before but anyways sorry if my makeup is looking tacky i've had it the whole day i haven't slept in this makeup don't do that kids that's not what that's not the right thing to do i slept like this because i was too late to take on my makeup so i took like a three hour nap with this makeup on that's the reason sis first i'm going to be reviewing this hair telling you a little bit about this hair my experience i've had this hair for like five months now actually nah 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 it's been like it's been like three months it's april i got it in january so three months ish so i've had this hair for three months i know i've worn it i wore it throughout my reading week like back to back to back everything i did that weekend i did it i did it in this hair like it will even get rough like that but like obviously yeah, you still have to touch up and all the like flyaways on top of the hair regarding how easily the hair straightens it straightens very well it actually straightens very well you will see it in the video because you see the before and the after and this guy sent me four 24 inch bundles and a 20 inch closure i washed it in purple shampoo dyed it like in streaks with platinum blonde and ash blonde i dyed the root dark brown with dark brown hair dye from like shopper this hair has been holding up very good so let's get into the tutorial so this is how the wig looks after like a week of wearing it and i left it in my suitcase for like a month so like don't even blame the hair company it's my fault i didn't take care of the hair but like anyways you're gonna see it transform soon So can you see how I'm struggling to straighten the hair, like I'm struggling to comb the hair. You're not supposed to comb the hair from the top of the hair, you're meant to comb it from the bottom then work your way up so that it combs smoothly. I'm going to switch it and show you guys how to actually do it and I use a brush instead. First things first, when I'm straightening hair, I go track by track or two tracks by two tracks because laying it track by track makes it lay flat on each other so it makes it straighter or whatever. What I do is select the portion I want to straighten and then I brush the tips, then go upwards and brush the body, then get to the roots. Then I straighten, then I go back with the brush, straighten again, like I do it like two or three times. Then go to the next portion. I know you see all these like uneven layers of ash blonde and platinum blonde. Honestly, I'm an amateur when it comes to hair dyeing, but like it comes out how I want. Like it still looks good. I don't recommend you using oil or anything on the hair. This hair doesn't have anything inside. I don't apply any oil or any product. Now I'm going to start with the closure. So what I do to make the closure very flat is I basically just straighten the closure. I put the straightener into the wig and straighten it from the inside as you can see. This makes sure the closure is bone straight and very flat on your head. We want nothing less. We want to look snatched, bone straight. What do you mean? So you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys are going to see me looking like a bum. Like I swear, I just woke up from sleep. I woke up from a nap. I just washed my face and said let me film this video so yeah that's what you get i'm sorry if it offends you i'm joking joe jesus is lord to make my head flat because you can see my edges are rough so to make my hair flat i pull the wig cap forward cover my hair and then push it back so that it pulls all the hair to the back to make my hair even flatter i'm going to add gel so what i do is use my finger to apply the gel on my hair and then use a brush to pull my hair to the back.
but I'm going to repeat the same method I used before. I'm going to use my wig cap to pull my hair to the back. So now it is secure, my hair is flat, my edges are laid. So now I'm going to add my foundation in the place where my closure is going to sit. How much do we have this? Um, I use, this is my Nars All Day Luminous Foundation. Avoid getting the foundation on your hair because it's very annoying and I don't pull the wig cap to the front because I don't like it showing under my, like directly underneath the closure. Like, I don't know why but I just prefer pushing it to the back and knowing that it fades away or something. I don't know. Let's just go. So I basically just go in with my got to be free spray. I sprayed the part of my closure. Basically, when it dries, it's going to make my closure stick at the part, so it's not going to shift from that position. I honestly recommend using a blow dryer to dry it because you don't want it shifting before it actually dries and then it sticks at the wrong place. When using a blow dryer, you have to use cold air. When you use cold air, it dries faster. I also add mousse because of all the little flyaways, the short short hairs that fly on top of the closure. So I use mousse to lay it down. So I just take a very small amount. I apply it all over the top of my head and then I use a scarf to lay it and let it dry in that position. I leave it there for 20 seconds. I blow dry it because I'm very impatient but like you don't need to blow dry it. As you can see, I'm done with the tutorial. You can see my hair is laid, the hair is straight, no flyaways, you know the fucking vibes. Thank you for clicking this video. Hope this video was helpful. Subscribe before you leave and God bless you.